Hi friends, um, welcome back to Techie Trainers. My name is Sivakumar Reddy. Uh, as part of Docker tutorial series, we have discussed till now the physical server approach, virtualization, and then containerization. And so, uh, till this time, we have discussed um, theory about all these approaches. Now, let us install the Docker so that we can enter into the practical part of uh, Docker concepts. So to install Docker, first of all, we need one server. We can go with the uh, Oracle Virtual Box, but that is not preferred in real-time projects. We don't use Oracle Virtual Box. We always use uh, VMs, either on-premise or cloud. So for the easy purpose, I selected AWS Cloud. You can also select Azure, Google Cloud, or Alibaba, etc. Uh, first, we need to launch the server. So anytime while you are launching the server, we will consider two, two uh, few things. One is what is the size of the server? I mean, RAM and CPU. So these uh, three things you uh, generally select, right? So in AWS, it is easy to launch the server. We can go for uh, usually in our companies mostly we follow red hat enterprise linux so amazon but it is a, a licensed version it costs us generally but aws takes the red hat enterprise linux core modify a little bit and then release it as amazon red hat enterprise linux so we can use that os it is exactly same as what we use in our companies and even in our companies for uh, cloud uh, deployments, we always use Amazon uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. When it comes to the outside of cloud, we use uh, Alma Linux, but earlier we were using CentOS 8, um, but Alma Linux is the replacement of CentOS. So let us go and launch an instance first, connect to that instance and install the Docker in it. So this is my AWS account. I choose Singapore region. You can choose Mumbai or whatever region near to you. So I'm clicking on launch instance. Here I'm selecting Amazon Linux. So make sure you use a T2 micro, one CPU and one GB RAM is enough for me just to practice Docker. You can just this is 8 GB hard disk. This is also enough for us. Next, add. You can add few tags like Docker Security Group. This is like virtual firewall. Uh, I am allowing all TCP from all IP addresses. So usually, we don't do like this in our real project environments. Just for uh, practice purpose I am allowing all the ports from all the IP address review and launch click on launch create a new e pair I'm giving it as docker download the key pair you will get I'm just selecting desktop and then launch the instance Go to your EC2. It may be running. Yeah, it is running already. Get the IP address. Get the public IP address. How to connect to the instance? You can use any SSH clients like Git Bash, Putty, Super Putty, etc. So, but for in background if you use any tool this is the command it runs ssh hyphen i is to produce your pem key or private key and this is the username and this is the ip address so i'm using git bash here i downloaded private key on the talk uh, desktop so let's go to desktop ssh hyphen i docker dot pem ec2 hyphen user at the rate 
IP address. So now you are inside AWS instance. Okay, so now let us install Docker inside it. So you can refer AWS document on how to install Docker. So this is the, I am searching like this, install Docker on AWS Linux 2. We can go with this. So just read these steps. First they are saying launch the instance, connect the instance. We already did this too and go like this. Just take the root access. Just increase the properties. Okay. So now they are asking us to run these commands. So do m update y. I'm running this command. So it's already updated. And next run this command. It's installing Docker. After that, run this command of m install docker. Already installed. Now just uh, start it. System CTL start docker and enable it so that it will be started by default after restarting the server. Okay, I'm just clearing. Now that's it. You started to install. Now let us try this. So now you can see command uh, docker is already installed. If you just run docker info command, you can see docker is installed. But in organizations, we don't use root user, right? So just come out of it and then try docker command. Okay, so now it is run. But if you see, if I give docker ps, it is saying permission denied. So this is because when you install docker, there will be a group created docker. By default, now we logged in as EC2 user. So if EC2 user is not part of Docker group, then you will get this permission denied error. So for that, what you, we do is user mod append to group. The username is, you can see the syntax here. I just forgot the group name and then username. This command is appending to the group docker this username okay so now user mod hyphen at to the group docker i am appending ec2 hyphen user without running this command you cannot run docker command with normal user now just take the root user Now come out of it and then try docker ps. Still you are not able to access because you need to exit after doing this and then log in again. Now you log in again and run docker ps. You will get this output. So this is how you install docker in Amazon Linux. If you want to install docker on other distributions also you can go with install docker on all on linux okay so you can get the simple steps on for each and every distribution
okay so you will you just follow these steps we'll add the repos and then this will install the docker and then docker engine and then docker container runtime so these things we will discuss in detail but amazon made it uh, straightforward so that's it these few commands okay thank you see you in next video